Welcome back, everyone. A big thrill for area students interested in video gaming. Yeah, their work is now being featured on a larger than life screen. Pat Gallen is live in University City to show us more. Hi, Pat. Good morning, guys. Uh, yeah, so I'm out here playing a video game on the side of the Sierra Center with Drexel University. We're here at the brand new Drexel Square Park. I'm here with Ben and Josh and Chris, and they're showing me how to play this game. It's called Phil, and I'm not that great at it. Well, actually, I'm not terrible right now. And then I died. Uh, guys, take over, will you, so I can talk to Dr. Lee over here. So it's on the side of the skyscraper here. It's insane. It's crazy. These kids are so smart. So is this guy, Dr. Lee. Good morning. Morning. So tell us all about this stuff. Like, how, how did this happen? So it began with Pong and Tetris, a project that Brandywine Realty supported. Mm -hmm. And after I did Tetris in 2014, I wanted to use the platform to try to get kids interested in programming. Sure. So the idea was we work with wonderful middle school teachers and their students to have them design the game for the skyscraper, with the showcase being to the, uh, yesterday, right. not last, last evening. <laughs> Which was the opening of Drexel Square Park. So how was that? It was fantastic. We have over 100 people who came, and especially it was great to see the kids who designed the games sure. on a computer see their creation on the skyscraper itself. So how long did it take those students to create what we're seeing behind us? Um, so it, it took us a, us about a year where we initially worked with the middle school teachers and taught them the tools that we used to create the game on the skyscraper sure. for a semester. And the following semester, the teachers that went back worked with their kids, their class, to teach them the tools and have them design the games that we're showing off today or yesterday. <laughs> Pretty incredible. So it's all local middle school kids that got together with their teacher and with you and put all this together. I, that's pretty impressive. I know, I know. <laughs> it, was, it was a joy for us sure. as well. That's great. So these guys over here, Ben and Josh, they're working on, what game are we looking at now? This is still Phil? This game is Phil by Comigues, uh, which is a public school in mm -hmm. Philadelphia. Um, and it was a, what I love about this game is it is a, an original game. Yeah. It's not a game that you have seen before. Sure. And so it came from the very creative minds of the young kid. So what do you hope happens next with Drexel and with some of the students that you've worked with? My hope is once we have the excitement of creating games for uh, the skyscraper by kids, that we expand upon it, work with more schools to have them participate in designing the games and then have a showcase, almost like a contest, if yeah. you will, where we select to highlight some of the, the really creative minds of the kids in Philadelphia. Very cool, and there are many of them. Dr. Yes, Lee, thank you so much for waking up so early. Much. There it is. It's all right there on the skyscraper this morning. It was a lot of fun seeing the students' creations come to life. Jim, Janelle, hurry up, get out of here before the sun, well, the sun is up. The sun is <laughs> up. I was like, are you here. blinded out there? Uh, mm -hmm. But that is so neat, and what a great way to get the kids involved with science and technology. They're a really cool concept. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, very cool.